Hello viewers, welcome to another news review hour on German media and products. We now begin with our headlines. World Customs Stop Official Visits Gambia. Eight-year-old rape survivor breaks down in court. Ambassador Jade presents $1 million worth of sports materials to President Barrow. Ahmadiyya Jamad reaches out to 44 fire victims. 32 Gambians evacuated from Ukraine. Those were the headlines. We now have the news in detail. Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, WCO, Dr. Kuniyo Mikuria, has described the Gambia and Senegal as very important countries in Africa's integration. He added that the Gambia in particular is a strategic point for connecting borders in West Africa, adding that the need for the two countries to remain peaceful and united is sacrosanct. Dr. Mikuria, during his visit, met Vice President Issa Tuture, Finance Minister Njai, and Gambia Revenue Authority Commissioner General Yanko Badabo. The visit was meant to assess the country's custom service delivery. He is encouraged by the mutual working relationship between the Gambian and Senegalese customs officers. This demonstrates a unique opportunity for Africa and complements WCO's mission and vision to see cost of servicing as bridges in the borders, he said. He said the Gambia and Senegal have the potential to help Africa achieve its dream for creating one market. He have recently signed an agreement with the African Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat to enable us to provide all the expertise and capacity building to facilitate the creation of an African market, he said. The GRA Commissioner General Yanko Badawa extolled the mutual working relationship between his officers, police, immigration, and the Senegalese border customs. General Dawa reminded the officers for the numerous bilateral agreements signed between the Gambia and Senegal. The countries have signed nine bilateral agreements and they are planning to sign another to make it ten. He urged them to respect these agreements, he advised. An eight-year-old girl wept in court while describing how a man raped her in her mother's bedroom before threatening to kill her if she tells anyone about it. The survivor was testifying against the man who is raising a charge of court at the High Court in Banjul. He is accused of raping the girl last May. He pleaded not guilty, according to the court, the survivor. The accused found her watching television and took her to her mother's room, removed her pants and raped her. When he was done, he took her to the backyard, cleaned her up and took another pant from her mother's drawer for her to wear. She was wounded and bleeding. She revealed, adding that the accused threatened to kill her if she tells anyone about the incident. She further testified that her crying attracted the attention of neighbors who went to call on her grandmother, thinking she mistakenly locked her while she was sleeping inside. She said her mother later reported the matter to the police and she was taken to a hospital for medical examination. Meanwhile, the medical doctor who conducted the examination has testified, telling the court that the findings show she had some bruises in her private part. The trial continues. Goodwill Ambassador Tijan Jeta yesterday presented a consignment of sports materials to the office of the president. The items worth some $1 million were received by President Adam Abaro at State House. They included 20 sets of original ombro jerseys, 100 balls, and 40 seats of goalkeeper's gloves. Speaking to journalists at the State House, Ambassador Jaita said he is delighted and humbled to have the opportunity to donate the materials to Gambian youth through the president. Mr. Jaita added that the youths will continue to benefit opportunities in different areas in sports. In their guest to serve humanity, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in the Gambia yesterday made another disbursement of foodstuffs, clothing and cash to 44 fire victims from eight households in Bundum, Talinding and Fajikunda in the Kanifi municipality, worth $160,500. The recipients were victims of a fire outbreak in Bundum, including a man who lost his young children in the flames. 
The donated items included bags of rice, clothing, cooking oil, and $1,000 to each family member. The Jamaat magnificently has been extended to many people in this country, especially disaster victims, the poor and the needy. Baba Eftra Wale, the Amir of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, said the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat is here to propagate pristine and pure teaching of Islam. They told that the, uh, the Mahdi is coming and we will see signs like this when that time comes. All the time that have been professed have come through unless you don't know, he said. Amir added that human beings have two obligations to live with their neighbors, assist and be tolerant to them. He called on people with the means to come out and help the needy people in the society. They all have an obligation to assist the society, he added. The Amir called on Gambians to remain united and nature pure. Nyangjeng, National Disaster Management Agency, Municipal Disaster Coordinator who represented the agency, said the Jamaat has been partnering with his office for a very long time, rendering such services to victims, the poor and the needy. Karamo sees the council telling the world thank the Jamaat for the donations. In receiving the items, victims Ismail Atrawale and Daura Nyangdao thank the Jamaat for coming to their aid. Press release from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. International Corporation and Gambians Abroad announced that 32 Gambians have been successfully evacuated from the conflict stricken Ukraine. A statement from the ministry revealed that out of the 32, 22 are in Poland, 8 in, in Slovakia, 1 in Romania with his Ukrainian wife and children and 1 in Budapest, Hungary. MOFA also gave the following update on the matter. The government of the Gambia through the mission in Brussels has arranged for hotel lodgings in all the above listed countries for evacuated Gambians and provided them with means of subsistence. This offer has been accepted by the Gambians except a few more who prefer to make private arrangements. This offer of assistance will nonetheless be placed at their disposal whenever requested. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs further wishes to inform families of the evacuated Gambians and the general public that government will facilitate the return of the evacuated Gambians home. This information has been communicated to all concerned. However, the decision to run to the Gambia or make alternative arrangements is an individual prerogative which shall be respected by the Embassy and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This offer shall only be provided to those who requested for it. Those were the headlines for the today's news review hour. But before we take a leave of you, let's take a recap on the top stories. World Customs Top Official Visits Gambia. Eight-year-old girl survivor breaks down in court. Ambassador JT presents $1 million worth of sports materials to President Varro. Ahmadiyya Jamaat reaches out to 44 fire victims, 32 Gambians evacuated from Ukraine. Those were the stories for the news review hour for today. Thank you for joining us with your presenter, Maria Magillan. Do have a nice weekend.